Hello everyone, this is Shannon Hilbert, and welcome to the Bitweenie Introduction to Xilinx System Generator. This video is going to discuss what is Xilinx System Generator, the design flow around using System Generator, and why use System Generator for DSP designs in the first place. And then after we discuss those things, I'm going to talk about the design outputs. So let's get started on the first topic. So what is Xilinx System Generator? The Xilinx System Generator tool is a design methodology for creating digital signal processing designs targeted for an FPGA. It integrates the MATLAB and the Xilinx Design Suite which is ISE it integrates this instead of having a separation between the two where you test out your algorithms in MATLAB and you plot them and take a look at them and make sure they're working and then move to a Xilinx implementation maybe an ISE what it does is it unifies them into one design suite where you can test the design design the design and target the design all for a Xilinx FPGA in one suite so before I directly answer the question, why would I want to use System Generator for DSP designs, let's take a look at the design flow between System Generator and a typical HDL design flow where I'd use Verilog or VHDL to code up my design. So before I even want to code up my design, I've got to figure out my algorithm. And we start out in MATLAB, typically. And I'm going to code up my algorithm. Excuse my drawing. I'm going to code up our algorithm in M code and just simulate it and see what it does. And once we've got it simulated in M code, we want to look at plots to see what's going on. So does our algorithm work like we expect it to? And then, after we've decided, we've decided, yeah, that algorithm works, we move into HDL code. Say it's Verilog or VHDL. And we do the same thing all over again. We code up a design and then we send it maybe to a a file output. We use maybe model sim or iSIM, which is the Xilinx tool, and we take those file outputs and then we take it right back into MATLAB, write more M code to verify the design, and then we take a look at those plots. We can decide whether we need to improve the design process, you know, improve the algorithm, then we go back into the HDL and redesign. So let's take a look at how the system generator design flow works. So instead of designing once in MATLAB and then designing again in HDL, what we're going to do is we're going to create our design in Simulink and we're going to do it once and we're going to be able to design and verify and to target our FPGA in one step. So what we do is we create our signals, maybe our input signals in MATLAB. And there's a couple of different ways to do that, and we'll talk about that in other video tutorials. But say, in this example, we'll generate some M code to drive a Simulink model. This is Simulink, which is a part of MATLAB. And inside Simulink, we're going to create, we're going to link these things together. Um, so I can bring in my variables from MATLAB into my design and then I'm going to create using block diagrams I'm going to create my Xilinx design so maybe this is a multiplier, maybe this is an FFT maybe this is a filter and maybe we're doing some other stuff in here, it doesn't really matter but all of our design will be inside the Simulink window and then we can take it back out to MATLAB and then we can use MATLAB to analyze that and of course the MATLAB analysis typically you know is the same thing you know we're gonna look at different plots of the algorithm to see if it made sense then if it doesn't make sense you know if, it, if we need to improve the algorithm we can go straight back into the block diagram design and and simulate there again and directly from the Simulink area we can test and target the FPGA so let's take a look at what a design looks like in System Generator I've already previously created a design that I'll be going over in a later video tutorial, but for now let's just assume that it's already been created and I'll just give you a brief tour. So let's take a look at the system generator design which I've pasted in here. What you're looking at here is a Simulink window. So all this whole this whole thing right here is a Simulink window. 
And what I've done is I've pasted in Xilinx design blocks. You can see them here. This is just for a simple multiplier. So here's a constant of 1.5, and here's a multiplier right here. And this is our system generator design. Um, all the design does is it takes a sine wave, and or any sort of input at all, and multiplies it by 1.5. Um, every single system generator design starts off with a system generator token. And what that token does is it defines how um, you're targeting the FPGA, what you want to do. Um, we can get into that later in a different design video. But uh, essentially the take home point here is that everything within this part right here is an FPGA fixed point design. Everything out here, such as a sine wave that I'm using to drive the circuit and this variable that I'm capturing the results into are just existing in workspace variables within MATLAB. Everything else exists inside the FPGA. Now after we're done, let me bring up the actual implementation. So here's the real file that I'm using, not just a picture. Um, when we're done with this, we can simulate it by hitting the play button. And you can see that my input sine wave appears along with the results. So what I've done is I've captured the input sine wave, which is this out one, and this out two is the output of the multiplier. And here's data in and data out. So you can see that I've created a FPGA design within Simulink and I can simulate it directly. So I could have chosen an M file to drive this signal and just drove it in a completely arbitrary waveform or a random signal um, that I created in MATLAB using maybe the rand n function. The results go f to the MATLAB variable that I can look at, and so I can replot a data out and data in variable via MATLAB if I wanted to. So let's take a look at some of the outputs that we can get out of the system generator environment. So if I look at the system token here, I can choose an HDL netlist, an NGC netlist, or a bitstream. I can also do a hardware code simulation to a couple boards that Xilinx has defined. Um, I can also do timing and power analysis. So anything that you can do in a typical ISE design flow, you can do in the system generator design flow. The main difference here is that you've only done the design once instead of twice. All the simulation signals are contained in MATLAB. All the outputs are contained in MATLAB. Everything within this box right here will be implemented within the FPGA. And the simulation that we just ran a second ago is bit level accurate. So going back to the original question, why would I use System Generator over any other design flow, such as using HDL or VHDL? And the answer is, is that I use System Generator here because I can create the algorithm, test the algorithm in simulation and within MATLAB, analyze in simulation in MATLAB, and implement the design to a bit level accuracy all within MATLAB and then target the FPGA and get the exact same results. So it's instead of doing the design in MATLAB and floating point and then taking it into the FPGA via Verilog or HDL and then having to re-verify that again, we've cut out the second parts of the steps so you only need to design once. That's why I'd want to use System Generator. This is the first in a series of videos that I'll be putting together to get you familiar with the design process of System Generator and how to use it and why you'd want to use it. Look for those videos on the Bitweenie website. For more information on System Generator and other great DSP electrical design information, visit our website at www.bitweenie.com and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.